prove that cos theta over 1 minus sin theta is equal to 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta over 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta. So let us start with the left hand side as usual. So your left hand side is cos theta over 1 minus sin theta. Now, when if you look at the right, right hand side, it looks scary. How can you get from year to year? Okay, so uh, you can do by different uh, ways, a different method. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to multiply. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator with this numerator. So well, I'm going to write this as one plus cos theta minus sine theta. So in many cases, in many time, uh, in many of the examples of proof you have to be a bit brave. Now, at this stage, it's plus cos theta, uh, plus sine theta. So I'm multiplying by this numerator to both the numerator and denominator. So basically, this is nothing but one. I hope you can see that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to disturb this. I'm not going to expand the numerator because I want this as the numerator of the right hand side. So the next step, is this becomes cos theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta over 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta. So these two steps are basically the same steps, nothing different. So here this becomes cos theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta over, I'm going to expand the denominator. So expanding with 1, if you expand with 1, this the second bracket, so this becomes 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta. Now I'm expanding with minus sine theta. So minus sine theta times 1 is minus sine theta minus sine theta times cos theta is minus sine theta cos theta and minus sine theta times my plus sine theta is minus sine squared theta. So what happens? What can be cancelled? This plus sine theta and minus sine theta gets cancelled. So the next step would be again no change in the numerator. I'm going to keep uh, the numerator as it is, no changes because that's this bracket is what I want as a as the numerator of the right hand side. So now this denominator I can write. So can I write this as one minus sine squared theta, one minus sine squared theta plus cos theta minus sine theta cos theta. Now, what is 1 minus sine squared theta? You should know that is cos squared theta. So this is cos theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta over, I hope you know this identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Sine squared theta, this is a Pythagorean or a trig identity, basic trig identity. So from this, if you make cos squared the subject, cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So 1 minus sine squared can be written as cos squared theta plus cos theta minus sine theta cos theta. Now what can you factor out in the denominator? Obviously cos theta, so this is cos theta times 1 plus cos theta plus sine theta. This looks like 1, so let me this, oops, I want to make a, use a smaller eraser. This is nothing but a bracket. Okay, so this is over, if you factor out the cos theta out, you have cos theta plus 1 minus sine theta. So this cos theta and this cos theta gets cancelled. So let me use a different color, royal color. So this is 1 plus 
cos theta plus sin theta over 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta. Again, this looks like negative 1. So this is again a bracket. And this is nothing but your right hand side. This implies left hand side is equal to right hand side.